Hey guys, this is Noah Gaming. I know for one, I've been wearing this shirt for quite a few of my videos now. I recorded quite a few videos today, and some of them are going up in a few days, or some of them are going up in a day. So, I want to jump right into it, and the first thing I want to say is I hope you guys enjoy, and uh, let's get into it. So, I finally picked up a pencil for the first time in fucking months, and it is... This video is about uh, mods and or texture packs I would like to get in my Minecraft world for a computer soon. So if you guys don't know, uh, my birthday isn't soon, but it isn't far that, that far away. It's in the September, endish September area. It's the 27th. And... I was doing some research, and from what I've seen, you can get jobs at 15, and, like, what I found was the highest paying job, may even if I had to wait another year till 16. I have a job offer at Kroger's already, but my uh, one of the highest paying jobs that I found for 15-year-olds was $3,000 a month. An Alienware... I think the maximum is like 12,000 maybe. Maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's 1,200. I'm not sure. But either way, my god. If it's 1,200, I can get like two Alienware computers in a month. But, yeah. Let's get into this. First of all, I need a computer. We're probably getting one soon. Tinker's Construct is the first mod. I've wanted that for almost two fucking years now. Wow, I've tried it on Pocket Edition, I've even tried it on my Playstations, nothing worked. The Morph Mod, that's another good one. Tornado Survival Mod, oh my god, I love that one. Minecraft Comes Alive, and if you guys don't know what Minecraft Comes Alive is, it's basically The Sims. Don't know what The Sims is? No, but... Uh, The Sims, if you don't know what it is, it's a basic game. It's almost 2D above, but it's kind of down a little bit more. It's not exactly a 90 degree angle up. It's more of a 75 of like that. And you just, you work for money and stuff. It's, it's life. But in Minecraft. Here's one of the texture packs. Old Faithful. It's one of my favorites. I used to use it on Pocket Edition. Uh, more ores, like rubies and like gold in the nether. Yeah, that's good. Uh, more tools. More commands. More, more creatures. Them ones are uh, pretty good. And uh, I know more commands is primarily for Pocket Edition, but there is one for uh, PC, that I'll add like Reign of TNT or something like that. Uh, Ars Magic, which is a kind of newer one, where you just you, you, you use magic and stuff like that. It's like I can't really explain it. It's, just, it's magic. You have books, like magical books. You have a completely new like. You could say, uh, achievement system, but it's not an achievement. It's like, it's like the Minecraft achievement system where there's lines and all that and stuff. Uh, Mine and Blade Battle Gear 2. That one's pretty good. Well, it would probably be outdated, though, because we have the, like, dual-wielding swords already. Well, you can't really, really dual-wield swords, but, right now, but, uh... Well, and it adds more uh, weapons, too. Same with more tools. Shaders is the second. Uh, wow, my, I just draw, drive to a blank so easily. Uh, texture pack. 
shaders is like the best texture pack out there because it basically brings the game to life. And Waypoint. Uh, Waypoint is so good or minimap or whatever you want to call it. Waypoint is so good because you know guys, I used to die a lot in Minecraft and if I die and lose all my shite, I will be pissed especially with all these fucking mods. Almost goes off the page. Uh, I definitely would need an Alienware for all these mods. God. Especially the Tornado mod, that would definitely crash, probably like an HP or something. And I'll tell you the reason why I want these mods. Of course, I've been watching Minecraft for about... Four years now, maybe? Around that area, 2012. Uh, my first Minecraft YouTuber was Sky Does Minecraft, and of course, if you guys don't know, he used to do, uh, God, mod reviews for Minecraft, and one of them he did was, God, well, he did a review for Shaders, and that's when I really got into Minecraft, because I thought Shaders was like, oh, that's easy to get, then I got Pocket Edition, then I got Xbox. Then I got PlayStation 3. Then I have PS4. Of course, that was over that four year gap. Uh, I had the Xbox 360 for about two years. Had Pocket Edition for maybe six months, maybe. I loved Pocket Edition. I played it in like Alpha or Beta. Like, the very beginning of Pocket Edition, around that time. And I tried testing out one of the mods. No mod worked that I wanted to get. So I just installed a texture pack, and I fell in love with it. And then I realized, oh, you need a block launcher for Minecraft mods. And so I got that, and I got an Exploding Arrow one. Then I destroyed my world. Took about a month break from Pocket Edition, got back on it for a month, got an Xbox 360, got the One, got the PS3. Well, I had a PS3 for fucking seven years. <laughs> I love, I love the best to have the PS3. But, I just wanted to make a quick video, so if you guys are looking forward to the PC uh, Minecraft gameplay, and, well, not just Minecraft, but, like, other ones. This is what to come. I started out a... Lego guy, and now I'm going to PC gaming. My very first PC game that I played on this channel, actually it might have been the other one, my other channel, would have been Stanley Parable. Parable, however you say it. But, hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys are looking forward to all these mods in Minecraft and other games on PC. Peace out, I'll see you later.